guys, what's up? It's Onglor. Today's video is going to be on how to install a reshade for Skyrim Special Edition. So, let's do this. Okay, so I've gotten a couple of requests on how to do this, so I decided today was the day to do it. So, what the first thing you're going to need is the actual reshade.exe, which I'm going to leave a uh, link for in the description below. And you're going to have to head over to nexus or wherever you want your reshade from and download that okay so we're going to simply download the reshade that we need exe file as my dog is letting you know okay so i already have it installed i'm just going to install it again what we're going to do is select the game and if you installed uh, Skyrim through the you know default it's going to be in the programs 86 then Steam Steam apps common Skyrim special edition then we're going to select Skyrim SE okay that's going to ask you to select rendering API what we're going to want to click on from here is a direct 3d 10 and as you can see, I already have it installed, so I'm just going to click yes. Then yes. Okay, I just leave everything as it is checked. If you want to uncheck stuff, go for it. I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see, we got a message showing that it has succeeded. So cool. Okay, so for this video, I selected a Warmth of Skyrim. I just, you just simply go to Download Manual, Download it. And then open up the RAR. Now we're going to want to install it, and it's going to be the same process as last time. I'll take you through it again. It should be in your program files 86, unless you install it somewhere else. Steam, Steam apps, common. We're just going to drag it over into the Skyrim Special Edition folder. I already have it in there, so I'm just going to say yes. And we are ready to go. Okay, so. For some reason, the, the program I'm using absolutely refuses to record my Skyrim gameplay. So I'm going to uh, use Fraps now to show you what it looks like in game. Okay guys, as you saw, I recorded that part for a reason because during the loading screen, the reshade sometimes, well most of the time, is going to make your screen go a little bit crazy like you just saw. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's not going to affect your gameplay at all. It's just loading all the shaders you've selected and, you know, so your screen's going to be a little bit unresponsive, so don't worry. You're okay. Now, let's go into the game itself. What a nice loading screen. I've always been tempted to choose like some of those mods that give you different loading screens. But that's a whole other video in itself. Okay, so... I thought we were just about to enter and it fooled me. Alrighty, so... As you can see, I have some other mods going, obviously. Alrighty, so... F2 brings up the menu. Now what we're going to want to do is make sure on the home settings we select the drop down menu. And as you can see, this is Skyrim without any reshade. We're going to hit F2 again. This is the new reshade that we installed, the Rich Vibrant. And as you can see, everything is working just fine. And this is another reshade that I had. So as you can see, they all work. But uh, once again, this is the one that we just installed, the Rich Vibrant. 
by default um, to switch on and off your reshade is F5 which we all know that F5 in game is uh, the save so I'm pretty sure you can go into the settings and look at the hotkeys and switch that I haven't really bothered to look into how to uh, mess with it you know I pretty much just run with my loading screen there's a bunch of little other nifty things here you can do too which is cool you can show the clock what time it is you can show the you know frames per second so there's a lot of things you can do within the uh, menu I just haven't bothered with it too much I've been wanting to play so uh, you know just pretty much log in play pick an EMB or I pick a reshade that I want and I just go with it and what's really cool about this is uh it can save you know as you just saw multiple reshades and uh yeah they all look pretty good I actually might give this one a go for a while because I do like the darker feel so I might roll with this reshade for a while and that's how you install the reshade it's pretty simple and straightforward you know I do like the EMBs but sometimes people can get lost in the process I know it took me a little while to figure things out so um, if for some reason you're still having trouble you know let me know and I'll try to help you out uh, my schedule is usually pretty busy but I will you know try to message you and see what I can do to help you out alright so that's the end of this video remember to rate the video comment the video and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this one and don't forget to check me out on twitch because I will be streaming within the next day or two um, it's going to be in the link or it's going to be in the description below see ya